guys, uh, Dion Bailey really didn't do very much. I think he'll be back Tuesday full speed. Uh, call it home, still out. Hopefully he'll be back Tuesday. Uh, Jesse's getting cl getting very close. Um, Buck Allen, George Farmer, same exact thing, hamstrings. Hopefully Tuesday, Xavier Grimble and Randall Telfer uh, both out uh, as well. Um, today, obviously there was some personnel issues with only two scholarship receivers, no, scho no scholarship tight ends, and then when Somo got hurt in uh, individual, no scholarship fullback. So kind of made it difficult to challenge with formations and personnel issues. Uh, offense did a lot better than I would have thought they'd, they would have um, with the personnel that was out there. So that was good to see. Um, Devon Florida made a number of plays today, which was great. And um, Trey Madden did some pretty special things. Uh, what happened to Soma? Soma came out with a bat, his back, uh, something happened with his back in individual, so they held him out. When you say special things for Trey, what kind of things did you see out there? I did just the, the ability to, to stay up um, at, you know, at 225 pounds, to stay up and, and with that forward lean as he was getting banged around was, was, was pretty unique to see. And then you see his speed for a big guy too. You know, as he outran a couple more guys at the corner there to the left of them. He might ever use it, but he's kind of a, a natural, it looks like. I mean, it just seems to do the right things. Yeah, I mean, obviously in coaching, you know, we were a lot better coaches when guys do things. You know, you can teach two guys the same things, and some guys just pick them up, and they're very natural. And he's one of those guys. You know, to come over that quick and even be functional is, you know, saying a lot, let alone to be performing like he is. So we, can we assume that the experiment is going to continue beyond this week? Yeah, yeah, he, he, will, he will be playing right back. At the quarterbacks. They did pretty good. You know, once again, especially with, you know, uh, two scholarship receivers, you know, and some other walk-ons we were just trying to line up. And, um, and a tight end that, you know, didn't really know what he's doing. So, um, it's good by those guys. What happened with Nickel? He was going to do track today and changed his mind, basically? No, we just looked at the, you know, the different situations. They're all different and how the care hours work. And unfortunately, if you, if you go, if your event is prior to the practice, which is what the um, what Nickel and uh, Marquise would be, because they were 10 a.m.s, you go dead for the whole day, um, clockwise. So we can't get them back at all. And so we're just talking with the track. Um, you know, we let Marquise jump, which means we lost him completely for the day. And then, um, you know, we kept Nickel. Marquise won the long jump, apparently. Did he? It's a good decision we made. Then. <laughs> <laughs> He seems like you know he's kind of been under the radar a little bit. What's he showing? You? Well, I think what we can hope is that you know we could have a Carswell story. You know, same type of deal, a guy under the radar. You know, kind of kind of move around, not really do much through the first couple of years in the program, and then really you know uh, we'd be very productive. You know, we've, we kind of have a saying that we've said before. You know, if you stay, you play. You know, if you have the right attitude and you stay long enough, usually you play regardless of how buried you are initially on the depth chart because because you pass people, the newcomers up because you know the system, you know the stuff better. So uh, hopefully there'll be another example of that. What do you see from Blackwell? Yeah, Victor flashes, you know, continues to flash and make plays. We just got to work on the consistency of, you know, being a receiver every down. Um, but it's good to see, you know, the top end. It seemed like... Um when you guys sent that message to George Uko about the loafs, that he's really responded in a major way. It kind of seemed like he had a really good week. Do you agree? Yeah, exactly right. He's been dominant out there in all phases of the game. And, uh, yeah, you just notice him right away. You know, he looks like a big time you know, three technique. Those guys change the game, so hopefully he continues to develop. Does that overall position, the interior defensive lineman, does that concern you at all with the lack of experience collectively? Yeah, it does. Uh, you know, especially. The way college football is gone, and if you're going to be really good on defense, I think you have to rotate. You know, we didn't have to used to do that. You know, because the game was just slower um, and sped up so much that you got to find more guys. You can't just play four guys. You know, we tried to do it really our first year, and look what happened in the fourth quarter of games. You know, we've got to do better at it. You go back to 25 games. We've been here together. We've been ahead of 24 of those in the second half. And that's pretty amazing. Now we got to rotate more guys so we can finish all those games.